there was a big step in the direction of self-government. The Prime Minister began his tour of the fighting services with a visit to the Farnborough Air Show, where he put on flying kit before boarding an Avro Vulcan, one of Britain's latest V-bombers. During the flight, Sir Anthony took the controls and saw for himself the impressive performance of this fine aircraft. A more leisurely transport brought the Prime Minister to Colchester on a visit to army units there. Major General Harding, Commander East Anglia District, was there to greet him. Sir Anthony later saw how the modern army is preparing to counter an atomic offensive. Underground trenches and special gun positions are part of the plan for defence in this nuclear age. He presented trophies to the winners of the Royal Norfolk Regiment's shooting competition and a wooden spoon to ban Sergeant George, who has the distinction of being the worst shot in the regiment. Now to the Atomic Weapons Research Establishment at Aldermaston in Berkshire, strongly guarded by security police. But our cameraman was allowed to film Sir Anthony as he was welcomed by Sir William Penny, the director. The Prime Minister is one of a very small group of people ever to see the real secrets of Britain's H-bomb research. He put on protective overalls before starting his tour. Apart from Sir William Penny and his associates, no one knows what Sir Anthony saw behind the close veil of secrecy. Our next glimpse of him was at the special Geiger counters where he tested his hands for radioactivity. The White Rock Pavilion.